back your homes or restore your dead to life. But perhaps I can give you justice in the name of our king. Hey everyone, today we are going to be going over a few questions from the Game of Thrones community. The following will contain spoilers up through the end of Season 6, so if you haven't watched all the seasons, this will be your warning. Alright, the first question is who was Ares' hand? I thought it was Tywin for a while. Well, Ares had a number of different hands. Tywin was Hand of the King for 20 years until he resigned his position, and then I believe the hand was Lord Owen Mayweather, and then John Cunnington. After that, he had Carlton Chelsted, and then finally Wisdom Rossart, but only for a fortnight. Jaime killed both Rossart and the Mad King during the sack of King's Landing. The next question is, do you know what happened to Rob and Talisa Stark's bodies after the Red Wedding? Rob Stark's body was carried around by horse, with his head cut off and replaced with the head of his dire wolf, Grey Wind. After that, I assume the Freys dumped his body in the river just like Catelyn's body was. As for Talisa, well, her character is actually new to the series. In the books, Talisa doesn't exist, and Rob is actually married to a woman named Jane Westerling. Jane wasn't present at the Red Wedding, so there isn't any additional information in the books. I'd say her body received the same treatment as Rob's and Catelyn's. I have a question for you to look into. What happened to the baby White Walker? Do the babies that are turned grow? And who looks after them? Okay, so this is something that we have to guess since it hasn't all been revealed yet. The popular opinion seems to be that Craster's sons are the White Walkers who ride on horseback along with the Night King. In the novels, Craster's wives refer to the White Walkers as Craster's sons. We don't know if they rapidly grow into the mature size or if it takes years. That's a great question though. I really do hope the series explains more about White Walkers before it's all over. I was just thinking, which sword did Rhaegar Targaryen wield, and where is it? This is a great question. When reading the novels, Rhaegar is almost always mentioned with his harp, which obviously isn't a weapon, but it's interesting that the books never really went in depth about his sword. I think most fans would agree that Rhaegar wielded a top-of-the-line castle-forged blade, meaning no Valyrian steel. House Targaryen only had two Valyrian steel swords, Blackfire, which was originally Aegon the Conqueror's, and then there was Dark Sister. Dark Sister belonged to Aegon's sister Visenya Targaryen. Blackfire disappeared towards the end of the Blackfire Rebellion, and Dark Sister was last seen in Bloodraven's possession. Rhaegar was the rightful heir to the Iron Throne, and a highly loved prince. I'm sure whatever he wielded was of the highest quality, just not Valyrian steel. There's a good chance that we will never receive a detailed description of the sword that Rhaegar used, but with all the passages about his harp, I want to believe that we may see the legendary instrument again. Will we find it in the crypts under Winterfell, or in the possession of the crown in King's Landing? I don't know, but I would love to hear your thoughts on it. I think that's going to do it for this short video. I really appreciate all the support. If you haven't already, feel free to subscribe to the channel. I'm giving away a copy of Season 6 of Game of Thrones on Blu-ray on March 1st. All you have to do to enter the giveaway is subscribe to the channel, and on March 1st, I will include the winner's name in my video. Alright, that's gonna do it. As always, have a great day, take care, and I will see you tomorrow.